What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and today we are going to be checking out something different. This isn't really the vehicle that this video was supposed to be. The video was actually supposed to be of a different vehicle that was just had come out. But this is what I ended up getting in the mail. So I did order that vehicle from Banggood and this is what I ended up getting. I did contact Banggood. I let them know what the situation was, what happened, that's not that this wasn't what I ordered, that it was something else. And everything turned out fine. They told me to just keep this guy. They refunded me some of the money back and all its history. So everything's situated with Banggood. Now, I am still going to order that vehicle that was supposed to be for this video so I can review in another video. <laughs> so I'm still going to end up ordering that. Uh, the other thing that I do want to say guys is we finally got our shirts. So we got black and we got white. As of right now we are limited at 12 shirts. So there's extra large and large for the time being. Any other sizes will be ordered later on. But so for right now, if you guys want to pick up a shirt, check out the store and get yourself an RC Car Garage shirt and help out the channel. All right, so back to the rip saw. Let's just open this guy up and see what this thing looks like. All right, you guys, so there isn't really much I can say about this thing other than, yeah, it does look pretty cool. Uh, when my wife saw it, she actually said the same exact thing. She's like, that thing actually looks pretty cool. And I totally agree with her. It does. It really does look pretty cool. So, important tips. Do not use the other buttons on the remote control when you turn on the power supply of the remote control. Jamming protection. The roof light flashes in immediately. Low voltage protection. Okay. So, it has low voltage protection and high temperature protection the roof light flashes intermittently and slowly for three times when the car reaches a certain temperature this function will be activated all right so there are a couple um protection functions that this thing does have in order for it to not overheat so this is a pine cone model tank now the last pinecone model I got was my Mercedes G-Wagon, which wasn't licensed or anything, but we all know that it was G-Wagon. And that was okay. Now this guy, I gotta say, that's all plastic. It says metal on the box, but I don't see. It says metal, super climbing, tank, 30 degree climbing angle I don't know how much climbing this is gonna do I don't think much it does have nice weight to it. it it's it's got some weight to it definitely has weight to it so the tracks on this thing they are rubber tracks they're not metal they're not plastic there are oh actually rubber tracks on this thing um, so this thing has some type of red here exhaust type of thing I believe if I'm not mistaken it does have like smoke that comes out of the back or something or other how would I fill that up I don't know but we're gonna find out in this thing uh, we are going to also find out where the battery is at which I do think that the battery is gonna be in here the stock battery so we're gonna crack this guy open wow. so we're gonna crack this guy open we're gonna see what type of battery this thing takes and then we're gonna check out the controller and see what is what about this thing so wow all right here we go so you got your battery, which is a 18650, 1200 milliamp hour, 7.4 volt battery. 
and it also brings the charger which is all tucked in here nicely not too bad not too bad um i don't think this thing will be able to take a 3s or it might take a 2s but 3s i'm not sure uh i can't really tell you what type of motor or anything this guy has because i didn't particularly order this thing um let's see if this battery has any juice in it the controller is kind of funky so i guess that's your on off uh spray and it's not anything really you can do the controller actually has this rubber thing on here not so bad not too shabby so let's put some batteries in here and of course there's a screw a lot of the times when these remotes and when these cars have screws in them you know that they're toy grade all right guys so three double a batteries that this thing takes i'm going to put three double a batteries in here i'm going to put the battery in this guy and we're going to see how it is what's going to do all right guys so it is on that's loud that's really loud but as you guys can see there are lights in the back there are lights in the front which actually look kind of cool no i did not charge the battery yet i just wanted to see what this thing looks like with the battery on with the thing on so once you hit the spray button on the controller lights start flashing but now i don't know how to fill that to see what it does so let's look in the trusty manual and see how to fill this thing so supposedly that clean water before spring so supposedly this part up here just pops off okay all right so there you go so the top part comes off and then you can fill water right in that little hole there so that's what we gonna do all right so we got some water and we're going to put it in here I don't know how much water this thing takes Oh, there we go, found its limit. All right. And now we're gonna put this, now we're gonna put this cover back on. And I, I just wanna see what it does. I think my daughter will have a lot of fun with this thing. So you, button that says spray right there. Now look at that. Hopefully you guys can see it. Hmm. Here, move you guys in a little bit closer here. Ooh, now you guys can really see. Look at that. Seems pretty cool too. This must be, you know what this is for you guys? This must be when you're out on the trail and you start getting a little hot. Just throw some water in that tank, put your face right up to it. It's a nice cooling water spray in your face. More than likely that's what that's for. So anyway, I'm gonna charge up this battery and we're gonna take it out and see how it does. But, 
we're going to do it on the sand. So let's go. What is going on, you guys? All right, so we are out here on the beach, and I brought, again, like I said, we're going to put this out on the sand and see how this thing does. So, since we're on the beach, what better place to try it than in the sand on the beach? So, let's go and check it out. Driving this thing one-handed, trying to drive this thing one-handed is a little difficult. You can't really, well at least my hands, I can't really reach the uh, steering here. It's too far forward, but this thing is not so bad in the sand. Now right here, you guys can see that they ended up uh, bringing the machine out and kind of uh, made this a little flatter. So let's see what this thing can do here. I'm going to give this to my daughter, see if uh, she wants to give this thing a shot. Rihanna, you want to try? Come on. Alright, so there's a guy making it flat. And we're going to try this thing out. She's going to try it out. Go. Go. On here. Bring it back. Turn it. Keep going. Turn it, go. So I don't know how long the runtime is on this battery. I actually brought two batteries with me. And um, so far, this thing, she's having fun with it. I mean, look at her go. She's like, she likes having it chase her around. Now you can see right back here, we turn on the spray button. And you can see it spraying. you guys so I am back home from being on the beach and I got burnt <laughs> like bad like you guys can see I got I got burnt bad but um so as I was driving home from the beach curiosity got the best of me and <clears throat> I started thinking I never got to do a speed run with this thing let me uh, see how fast this thing goes then I started thinking I could probably up the ante and see if I can make it go faster. So we got 
the GNSS. In this thing, here I'll show you guys. So we got the GNSS in this guy. We're gonna take it out here on the street and we're gonna see how fast this thing goes because now I'm curious. So let's um, turn this guy on. All right, as you guys can see, she's on. The controller is on. Let's see how fast this thing can go. All right. All right, so let's see. Right, it's reading it. So we're gonna hit track, start, and we should be good to go. Stop. Read. Four miles an hour. Fifty two feet. Four miles an hour. Let's check that again. Back. Start. All right. Stop. Three. Six miles an hour. So there we are, you guys. The Pineco model RC tank ripsaw. Um, this thing was actually pretty fun in the sand. I, uh, again, as you guys saw, I let my daughter play with it and everything. It was pretty fun. But after a little bit, it got a little boring. There was nothing. I mean, it's not that fast. I mean, as you guys just saw, it goes six miles an hour. And with that being said, let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think. Should I put a brushless system in it, make it go faster, leave it as is, and do a giveaway with it? Uh, I don't know. Let me know in the comment section below, you guys. So that's pretty much all I got with this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hit that like button, subscribe. Don't forget to check out the store, get your shirt to help out the channel. I will see you guys in another video. Y'all have a good one. Keep our seeing everybody.